morning. Happy Monday, February 6th. So what's going on? Hey, Tom Brady announced his retirement once again. Personally, I'm not a Tom Brady fan, but you know what? He brought his team to the playoffs, and most NFL teams would have wanted him at 45 years old to quarterback their team for last year. Anyway, uh, did you see the ice storms last week in Texas and Oklahoma? And I think uh, Tennessee had some bad situations too. About 400,000 people were without electricity. Hopefully they have that power back. And uh, the Fed has raised its interest rates for the eighth time. What does that mean? Those that have debt means you're going to pay more to maintain your credit cards, more to buy a home. The other thing is, if you're investing money, you're going to get at least 4% on your money in something like a CD. So the moral of the story is get out of debt, invest money, and you're insulating yourselves against the financials ups and downs of this world. Let's get to today's topic. That's right. Today's topic is whoop. <laughs> It stands for maximum out of pocket on your health insurance. Um, a client called me a week or two ago telling me or asking questions about maximum out of pocket and they called the insurance company and the insurance company actually gave them the wrong information. Maybe they were just talking to a customer service rep. A claims officer at an insurance company would have known exactly what was going on. So let's look at what maximum out of pocket really is and how it's important to you. Since the Affordable Care Act, if you're on an Affordable Care Act policy, a policy purchased pretty much after uh, March of 2012, your maximum out of pocket will include your co-pays, doctor's co-pays, ER co-pays, uh, urgent care co-pays, and so forth. It will include your deductible and it will include the coinsurance. Oh, remember coinsurance? We spoke about that in last week's uh, video. So if you don't remember that, look up last week's video. Coinsurance is the percent you owe after the deductible until you reach what is called your maximum out of pocket. So your co-pays, your deductibles, your coinsurance, all that together can equal your maximum out of pocket. And that's at that limit there at which the insurance company is obligated to pay 100%. Or are they? Oh, it's your co-pays, your deductibles, your coinsurance equal your maximum out of pocket. But I haven't let you feeling too very confident, have I, on that? And I don't want you to be very confident on that because you reach your maximum out of pocket when you stay in network, pretty much on PPOs. HMOs, you're out of network, no coverage, plain and simple. If you go out of network, you can have a completely different maximum out of pocket. So you can have two maximum out of pockets, in network and out of network. But also out of network, pretty much they're going to look at it and say, what would the normal provider have charged if you're overcharge that they're not even going to include those overcharges in it so once again the moral of the story is stay in network and yes a maximum out of pocket in network is someplace around ninety one hundred dollars out of network it can be the ceiling really those that say that they have a certain dollar amount in your mind i want you to think of it as unlimited because doctors out of network are typically billing more than what the insurance company is going to recognize. Those of you in the Kane, DuPage County areas here west of Chicago, um, there's Northwestern Medicine. A lot of people complain to me about the billing from Northwestern. A lot of times you believe you're in network, they'll tell you you're in network, but the bill comes that you're out of network. A lot of you've complained to me about how you've been treated for something that you haven't even been treated for. So Northwestern, pay, um, pay attention to that provider. Their billing is horrible. Their courting is horrible at your expense because whatever is coded to the insurance company, that's what the insurance company is going to do. If you have problems with companies like Northwestern Medicine and you don't think you're being treated fairly, uh, and your out-of-pockets are running amok, contact the uh, Attorney General of Illinois and have them investigate this. Uh, contact Department of Insurance and have them investigate this. But I'm telling you, the insurance company with your maximum out-of-pocket is going to pay as the provider codes it. 
And remember this, knowing what your claims are going to be can alleviate a lot of stress and help you recover quicker because you're not going to be worried about it. So do your homework before you have a procedure done. And so, hey, what's going on here at the MLD agency? Well, last week we helped two people enroll in their Medicare plans. We helped two people get enrolled in their uh, health insurance policies. We also helped another two people get enrolled uh, with Medicare supplement plans. And believe it or not, we have been fielding a few phone calls based on our video a few weeks ago on Am Better Insurance. So don't hesitate to give us a call to find out what's in your best interest. Our number is right there at the bottom of the screen. Until next week, and don't forget, Valentine's Day is coming up soon. Take care.